is Ron. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I talk about anything fashion related, tips and tricks, lifestyle, you name it. And today is another pickup video. I got some, I got some pickups, you know. I got some brands like uh, ASOS, Pleasures, Reese Cooper, um, LMC. Uh, I think I got some Heaven Preston in here as well. I like to mix it up, keep my hypey stuff, keep my casual stuff. At the end of the video, you know the drill. You guys let me know what was your favorite outfit and I'm gonna let you know mine. I'm getting better at this, you feel me? I'm getting better, you know, that was one take. Usually it take a couple takes, but I'm on my game now. So let's get straight into it. So jumping straight into the first outfit. The first outfit is something light, something casual. Uh, did I say that right? Something casual. I went and did um, a campaign with Puma and ASOS and they had me pick out a couple fits. And I seen this sweater from ASOS and I seen these pants. I told you guys before on this channel, what don't we do? That's right, that's right, we don't do skinny pants. You know what, I feel like I feel like at some point in time, somebody who runs a skinny pants line is gonna throw a bag at me, I'm gonna catch it, and then when I'm in skinny pants, you guys are gonna quote me. But when that day comes, just mind your business. Just mind your business. Anyway, jumping straight into the first outfit, I wanted to go for more of a spring look. Spring was last week. I'm not too sure why it's like 40 degrees right now in global warming, but I wanted to go for more of a spring look. So that's exactly what we did. We went and got this teal or light green. You know, I'm colorblind. I've said that in a couple videos, but it's a nice knitted sweater. It keeps you warm. Um, I can wear this in the springtime when it's at its peak day where it's hot outside more so. And then when you know how spring is, it tends to be hot and then colder at nighttime. So this is exactly what this sweater is. Knitted, has the little leaves throughout the uh, whole sweater. So this was a good pickup. And just to top the whole fit off, we went and got these pants, slick, it hangs low, it's baggy, it's nice room for your legs. No skinny pants around here. Metal. You know what? I don't have any skinny pants in this video. I had to check myself. But this this pair of pants, really good. It drops and it really cuffs the shoe pretty well. I think for this whole outfit, I'm gonna top it off with the Jordan 4s, the off-white ones, or I might wear the Guavas. My second outfit is one of my favorite brands. I've said this in a previous video as well. It's Pleasures, and the pants that I have on is from Jaded Man. I had this in a previous video as well. But Pleasures is one of them high and low end brands, if that makes sense. Like usually when I'm going on vacation, uh, it's like when I go on vacation, I didn't pay money for the ticket. I didn't pay money for my Airbnb. And then it's like, I need a budget aside for clothes. So it's nice when I get to actually find clothing that looks good, but it's in a fair budget because I'm not trying to spend, you know, 500 to a thousand dollars on clothes every time. But the tea is from Pleasures. Um, I wore this when I was in, I wanna say, I went to Joshua Tree. I'll put some pictures up on the screen. Nice trip, the outfit was fly. This shirt really pops out and you know, you gotta get your bright colors off in the springtime. It's a must. And just to top the whole fit off, we went and got the jaded London pants. Really compliments the tee in my opinion. And for shoes we threw on the Sakas, you know? This is a throwback. I remember when these first came out, I was really in love with them. So I felt like I really just needed to pair these with the whole outfit again. Now, just to make it a little bit easier, I just swapped the shirt and we went for a shirt called, um, I think the brand is called Stolen Girlfriends Club. I think that's the brand. If I can actually find it, I'll put a link below. But it's a black and white tee. It's just something simple, something clean. And just to top this whole fit, I swapped the Sakaz for the Jordan 1 Mochas. Now on to my third outfit. You ever have those outfits where it's like, yo, I know when I step outside, this is going to be a banger. Like somebody is going to say something. I might meet my future wife. You never know. This is one of those fits. So I went and got the shirt from a brand called LMC. I like this brand just because they offer some nice quality sweaters for a good affordable price. I'll put the prices on the screen. Um, I just gotta go and find it. But it's a blue sweater. It got the beard on the, uh, on the front and it just has some good colors to really complement the shirt. Now, I told you guys, I'm a fan of pants. I love pants good pants and I went to I forgot which site it was 
what site was this uh, pair of pants from? I think I was just randomly shopping because I needed to do this uh, shoe campaign and I was trying to buy a fit that matched the shoes and I went and bought these pants from Reese Cooper. It has just green details throughout the whole pants. Um, it's cargoes as well. I wish that I got these pants like a size down because they're a little bit too big and I'm 6'3 and they still look baggy on me. But overall, the sweater with the pants, the pants really make the fit pop out and even the shirt. It's just a nice combo. And just to top the whole fit off, we went and got the uh, Jordan 4 Unions. This is a, this is probably, now I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is my favorite fit throughout this whole video. So on to my next fit, right? I told you guys every time I go on vacation, I just buy stuff. I went downtown, it's about 10 minutes away from me. It's a store called P's and Q's and they have some good clothing there. And I went and got this shirt, right? This shirt is, I, I'm, I'm kind of mixed between it. It's a good shirt, you know, it's an orange shirt. Orange is a nice color, it makes my skin pop. You know, I'll throw some pictures up if you don't believe me, but it's orange, it has green like to watch the shirt. I think that's a washed out green. I like it, but I don't really agree with the price point. I think this price was about uh, $223 for the shirt, and that's ridiculous because I never spend that much money for a shirt unless it's really fire. That just goes to show how desperate I'd be for fits, new outfits when I go to a new city. But also, you, this is a shirt where you need to throw like an undershirt under just because like the cotton and the material you definitely feel it on your skin But overall that being said if you can find this on sale shit if you want to buy it from me I'll sell it to you for cheap But this is a good shirt minus the floss and the price point point. and just to put together the whole outfit I went and put on these Chinatown market shorts. I think the shorts was only about $60 or so and just to swap this whole outfit and uh, throw on something else, I went and got this long t-shirt from Stussy. Stussy is becoming one of my favorite brands just because their price points aren't too high and you know they offer good quality clothing as well. And uh, I paired this with the Jordan 4s, the orange fit I threw on the dunks with that. So, this is two clean outfits in my opinion. Now jumping into my last outfit, you know I had to get hype beast on you. I had to, it's been a while. I remember when I used to dress in nothing but hype beast. Like, it used to be crazy. I'm talking about off-white, Yeezy, uh, socks pulled up um, over the jogger, Adidas. Like, it used to be ridiculous and I, I'm not gonna lie, I filmed a video earlier and I was about to talk about being consistent and all that and just reinvesting yourself. It's been times, I was working two jobs and I was just going broke, just spending money on off-white and send the third, but you know, it paid off because this is my job now. <laughs> but all jokes aside, I went and did me a little uh, partnership with Farfetch. They just wanted me to select some items. I came out of pocket a little bit. I'm not gonna tell you why, but I did come out of pocket on like the, the sweats or something like that. But the shirt, let's get straight into the shirt. I love me heavyweight tees. I love heavyweight tees that are simple. I love heavyweight tees that, you know, stand outish. And I love my heavyweight tees that are designer, but you know, it just something about a tee that's built in quality or, even tees that are like $200 or $150, they just feel different when you put it on. Like this shirt right here, it's cool, but I can definitely tell this is about $60 or $80 versus when I throw on the Heron Preston tee, I'm like, okay, this feels like money. But just to top the whole fit off, we went and got the sweats from Heron Preston as well. Really dope pants, they stick out. Usually I'm the type of person who, once I get something, shoot the video, shoot the picture, I get tired of my clothing, but to be honest, I feel like these sweats is something where I can just step out or lounge around in a house. I can go to the market, throw these on. These are really comfortable. And just to pair the whole outfit, you know, we had to throw on the dunks. These dunks heavily slept on the orange ones and the blue ones. I'm not too sure why I don't show them enough love, but yeah, the orange dunks really made the outfit pop and just, you know, blend in even more. So. That was my, how many outfits did we do? Like four, five, six? I'm not even sure. But 
Let me know what was your favorite. My name is Ron. Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what was your favorite outfit. Like I said, I'm gonna have to go with the Reese Cooper and LMC outfit. I'll throw the pictures up on the screen. Let me know what's yours. My name is Ron. It was good talking to you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.